Hello and welcome to another video which I hope is going to change your life especially during these times of lockdown. So I'm going to show you how to use the dictation app in Word on a Mac in order to give great feedback if you're a teacher, to take great notes whatever age you are especially if you're a student and how to use it to write well again whatever age you are. This has been changing my life over the spring let me show you. So here we have a piece of descriptive writing emailed in to me by a student asking me for some feedback. Well let's imagine that that's what I want to do. So here's the first paragraph, I've just read it and I've got some feedback that I want to give the student. Let's imagine I've read the whole piece and now I'm going to give my feedback here and I don't want it to take any time at all, I want this to be really really quick. So I'm just going to click on the home button, click on dictate and off I go. This is a really effective piece of writing, comma, because you use complex sentences and an ambitious vocabulary, comma, constantly thinking of imaginative ways to convey your imagery, full stop, new paragraph. However, this is also partly your weakness, full stop. A good way to look at this is to imagine that you're reading a book that you have just bought, full stop. Would you still keep reading this book, question mark, or, comma, would you find the description unnatural and over the top, question mark. New paragraph. The key is to have only the quality of description you need in order to bring the character and scene to life, and no more, full stop. Don't think of this as an exercise in using loads of descriptive techniques, comma, but use it as a way to write description which you would genuinely want to read, comma, which would genuinely make you want to find out more about this character and what was going to happen to her, full stop. Now there are obviously some mistakes that that has made, but what a fantastic job of feedback. Look at the detail that I can give. And obviously I can give this same feedback to all my students if I just send them a copy of what this student sent in uh, or I could just do a video like this for free. I'm using screen custom, uh, Castomatic. There are loads of screen casting. Imagine reading four different um, stories or descriptions from your class. You'd take them from different levels within your class and your students would simply match their story or description to the one that they thought was closest to theirs and then try and improve it based on the advice you gave to one of these students. How easy would that be? I mean this took me, what, a minute? So I could do the whole class in five minutes. It would take me longer to read what they'd written but look at the level of feedback that you can give and look how useful it would be to your students. Okay, let's think now about note taking. Let's imagine you're watching the Mr. Sallis video. Is this the best an inspector calls video ever made? And you want to take some notes because it's the only video you'll need in order to get a grade eight. It's 54 minutes long and that's like one lesson and you'll know the whole of the play, all of the characters to grade eight, no bother. Honestly, I promise. So I watch the video for a bit and then I've absorbed some ideas and I pause it and get my dictate button out. Here we go. Look at the idea of the morality play, comma, and the characters all representing each of the seven deadly sins, full stop. The worst characters have more than one sins. Sorry, I meant sin, colon. Eric and Gerald, full stop. Eric is worse because he is more sexist and aggressive towards Eva, full stop, new paragraph. Structure of the play mirrors the First and Second World War, full stop. The second death of Eva represents the Second World War, comma from which society must now learn, comma, just as the Burlings must now learn from the second death, full stop. Again, 
you'll notice that Word has made hardly any mistakes. I didn't realise I was still recording, but you can see it's a pretty marvellous tool. Gets your ideas down on the page really quickly and allows you to synthesise information in a way that you'll be able to access again because it is presented so neatly, comma, unlike our handwriting, comma, especially if you're a boy like me, full stop. And now let's look at a writing task. So this is the persuasive writing task, question five of paper two from the November um, series uh, 2018. Cars are noisy, dirty, smelly and downright dangerous. They should be banned from all town and city centres, allowing people to walk and cycle in peace. Write a letter to the Minister for Transport arguing your point of view on this statement. Well, imagine that your teachers are chucking homework at you left, right and centre while they're at home and you're at home and you don't want to spend too long on this because it's going to take forever. The dictation app suddenly presents itself and you think, aha, I now have a way to get my ideas down on paper super quickly and I don't have to worry if the ideas aren't very good because I will be able to edit in Word very quickly. I wonder how powerful this might be. Let's find out. Do you remember, comma, only a few short months ago, comma, newspapers were reporting that the current youth, comma, the hope of our future, comma, would be the first generation to die younger than their parents, question mark, new paragraph. But no longer, full stop. One advantage, comma, perhaps the only advantage of the current situation is that we will emerge from lockdown to cleaner skies, comma, cleaner streets, comma, and cleaner cities, full stop. Yes, comma, we can now breathe in fresh air without the pollution from diesel particulates, full stop. Yes, we can look up at a blue sky uninterrupted by the sound of jet engines, and their white trails crisscrossing a busy sky. Full stop. Yes, comma, we can walk through our parks and gardens and hear birdsong we never imagined before. Full stop. New paragraph. And yes, we can jog down our streets, comma, off the pavement, comma, into the road, to avoid others, comma, without having to worry about being flattened by boy racers or impatient drivers on the commute, full stop. New paragraph. This springtime we have begun to reclaim our public spaces, comma, to love our cities, comma, and to walk more slowly in them, comma, observing their beauty and calm, full stop. New paragraph. What if life could always be like this? Question mark. So, what you've seen here is, I haven't prepared this, by the way, I've just launched into it, and it's so liberating to be able to just say what you think. It means that you'll never have to worry about not having enough ideas. Obviously, I'm more practiced at this as an adult than many of you will be. But once you get the hang of it, you can suddenly start writing really coherent sentences. And the other advantage of doing this is I'm trying to punctuate as I go. And that forces me to think really carefully about what punctuation I need. So. I'm constantly trying to raise my game. Now, what I'm really excited about is the low error count of the dictation app and the speed with which I can now work. I'll be able to improve not just the speed at which I work, but the quality. And this will give me time to redraft my work and make it even better. So suddenly, I don't think I'll resent all this work that my teachers are setting me because I'll be able to bash it out really quickly to quite a high standard. I'm really excited. Let me know in the comments if you are too. 
consider subscribing if you'd like more tips to help you, and if not, thanks for watching anyway.